Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and today we're starting a daily stream of Resident Evil 2 on the N64. This is my favorite version of the original Resident Evil 4. It doesn't have as beautiful cinematics as uh, the PlayStation version has, or even GameCube or Dreamcast, but it has some additions that are unique to it. It all fits in one cart. We can't scratch the disc, so we can't have the issue we had with the Resident Evil 1 on PlayStation, uh, which we couldn't finish due to a uh, damaged disc. Um, so this should be a piece of cake. We got auto-aim, we got all of these things that were added to uh, the DualShock version, plus uh, we have a rumble pack, which is something I really appreciate. And uh, it's going to be quite an adventure. We're going with... Uh, Claire A, Leon B scenario, or the one that's supposed to be canon in the Resident Evil universe, at least before the remakes. So let's go. Start Claire, the original game. Violence high, because that's how we play it. <laughs> I never understood this, like, isn't blue or green blood even scarier than red? I mean, at least in my eyes, it's just silly to... to <laughs> green blood, really? No. Here we go. Oh yeah, this version also has surround sound. Dolby surround, you know, Dolby stereo a surround. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus. A mutagenic toxin created by the International Enterprise Umbrella I thought Incorporated this was a for use in bioweapon experiments. Shot of forest, and then recently I realized it's a virus. Is the virus under the microscope? The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield. The case was apparently blown Valentine. up, but okay. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. One of the downsides of this version is that the audio is heavily compressed. Um, everything, all two discs fit into one 64 megabyte cart. Or, I don't know, that's like 512 megabits. And it's a miracle of a game, I mean, on the N64. Foreshadowing. I'm finally here. It looks so normal. I'm finally here. <laughs> Gotta love that Texago, Texago oil. Gasoline, even maybe. Why me? Yeah, because that happens all the time when you go to <laughs> Texago um, <laughs> gas station. The clerks just tend to bite you. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Oh my god. It's almost as if it's a ghost town. Uh, hello? Who's interrupting my dinner? Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Bah. 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 You gotta, I mean, they probably haven't seen a woman in months. <laughs> Down. Get down again. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Come on. There. It's a car I didn't come in. <laughs> come in with. <laughs> and the keys were just there. Apparently, because he's a cop, he can just. He's the master of driving What's cop cars. Going on? 
and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Reckless driving. Did you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. He knew that there was a gun there. Because that's standard police issue. Glove compartment. This is a nice touch. Like depending which, on which scenario okay. you play the car will crash field. either, you know, in reverse or well in the in the uh, cannon scenario this one is gonna run straight in. Shaboo Claire Leon I'm okay head to the station I'll meet you there okay. which is right Right, right next to me. If it were Leon A, the station would be, well, right next to Claire. So this would make way less sense. Oh yeah, with this, with N64 version, you can actually control the game with both the stick and the uh, uh, D-pad. Now I'm gonna use the stick because it's a lot better for turning. Oh, just ignore everyone. They don't matter right now. Here we go. One, who? We could go for special costumes, but yeah, that means I don't Wait. have. I mustn't collect anything. I think. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> He's cocking that. Don't shoot! I'm a human. Crossbow like a shotgun. <laughs> Jerk. Ooh, sorry about that, babe. I'm just bored to death here. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Oh, thanks for the host team. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Yeah, I was shit-faced last night and I just woke up to this. So the thing with the stick is you don't have to hold the B button to run. You can just push the stick all the way or just gently to walk. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. Yeah, oh, creep. I'm keeping a close eye on things. <laughs> I'd trust him. Why not? Let's see. Inventory. Yeah, that's not going to help much. But where, where, where are the bullets? There should be yeah, two cases of bullets. There we go. Yes, because we want his crossbow. At least I think I want it. Ah! Yeah. Killed by a pretty pair of legs because he survived so long and then he was just. Oh, yeah, you have to set this. So by default, it's like Resident Evil 1. But what we want to do is. Just turn it to um, auto, so I can, so it'll, it has auto aim. There's also like a first person, first person, because it basically controls that uh, where you push the stick, that's where sh they'll go, but we don't want those. So I can do this now, finally, I missed it. I appreciate it now more than ever. He's still got bolts in him, that's really cool. Ugh. So with the expansion pack, which we have installed, uh, we can have more zombies on the screen. I'm not sure if, why that's a good thing. Oh, clip, clip, clip. But it also dynamically changes resolution, so there are no slowdowns, but the game will look its best when possible. The models are a bit cleaned up compared to PlayStation. Whoop, that guy lost his hand. That's so much easier. Now we can check if there's anyone alive, no? See? See Capcom? That was... That's how you do it.
Okay, yeah. So here we have EX files. These files were added only to the to the N64 version, and they basically bridge uh, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. And I think they had uh, an idea of uh, releasing Resident Evil 3 on N64 as well, but it was way too late in the con in the console's life, and it was just cancelled. So it's a note from Robert. I guess the one we just saw die. There are two brothers, two Kendo brothers. I think this was Robert, but I'm not sure. Or maybe that was his brother. Let's see. How could this have happened, Barry? <laughs> what the hell? The town's been overrun by zombies and has literally become a nightmare on Earth. As you know, my concern for this town is as great as your own. I have waited for your arrival on the assumption you were still in the area. But the threat of my shop being overwhelmed by zombies has become too great. I've already distributed the majority of weapons and ammo to the town's survivors, including the raging bull you special ordered. I guess that's a kind of a magnum. I'd have to consult the Resident Evil wiki for that. Just guessing, because it's Barry's weapon. Mm, I hope you understand, given the circumstances. At any rate, I have no intention of pointlessly sacrificing my life and will be retreating to Stoneville. All those town names. If you get this message, meet me there. We'll go fishing. Robert Kendo. I don't know. I'm not sure which brother that was. So we should keep an eye for the EX files. Can't guarantee I'll find them all. But I'll try, certainly. How much ammo do I have? Let's combine that. Bloop. Everything's faster here compared to Resident Evil 1. Oh yeah, where did it? Oh, I did... I let them come in just to take this. I could have walked out. No shit, Claire. Could have walked out, but then I wouldn't get the crossbow, which people don't seem to like for some reason. But I think it's a good like substitute for Claire, because Leon has the shotgun, she has the crossbow. She also has the grenade launcher, though. That kind of makes her arsenal a bit better. Oh, that's wrong sound. I can hear them behind me. So I guess I just want to let them come in because they're going to do it anyway. Run for the bullets. There's Kendo's supply truck. And then just stand somewhere where you can... I don't know how close they are. Oh, okay, they're too close. Okay, I can have them in this narrow, narrow alleyway. This is normal, by the way. Didn't go for easy because it's, well, way too easy. And there's also the arrange mode, where you can get the uh, unlimited machine gun and I think Gatling gun, and yeah, Gatling gun and rocket launcher. That auto-aim just makes the game so much easier. Who's that, Jim? There should be another guy here. Hello, guy. I think I can run past him. He's slower than me anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna play basketball with you. Screw you. Okay. Oh, I love that sound. So there is apparently some slowdown with these gates. I guess they were too complex for the N64 hardware, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a, it's an issue with N64 games in general, when the, when the polygons are in your face, they just tend to do this. I can hear you! Top, 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 top. Should be able to run past most of them, but just don't puke on me. That's I don't I don't go for that. Is he dead? Nope. Oh, we have female zombies here. That was a first in the series. Screw her. Run past him if possible. Where should you go? Just avoid everything we can. Save all the ammo. This game will, well, only just because of the auto aim, I will have so much more ammo. It's insane. I think I can just run past these guys. Look at all that. Yeah, screw that. 
Ah, run, Claire. Now I have to get used to not saying, not saying run, Jill. <laughs> okay, the bus scene. Grab the ammo and kill everything that's crawling or walking. We have the... No. Go away! Okay, she's dead. Yeah, yeah. The zombies are way more polished here than in the, in the first version. Well, everything is, but... Should be a file here, if I'm not mistaken. Come on. Come on, I know it's somewhere. Yeah. Dario's note. So this is one of the files from Resident Evil 3. Uh, which you can find if you go back to Dario's trailer. I can't help but wonder if anyone will read these words, but writing them will help me maintain, maintain my sanity if nothing else. After I become a meal for those undead monsters, will the GIs responsible for sealing off the town laugh upon discovering my corpse? I think they'll have better things to do, but okay. Egoistic bastard. So is this how it's supposed to end? I don't want to die, I'm just not ready. My wife, daughter, mother, my entire family has been killed, but none of that matters anymore. Right now, my life is the only important thing. That's all that matters. He's right about that in this kind of scenario. I mean, I'd agree. If everyone else is dead, there's nothing you can do. I never would have pictured my end to be like this. I had so much left to do. Rather than becoming a salesman, I should have tried my hand at being a novelist. It's what I've always wanted. But my mother would all only tell me, you have a long way to go. It should be in quotes if it's direct speech, but okay. Why did I ever listen to her? But this looks like the end for the great Dario Rosso. Rosso, novelist extraordinaire, cut down before his prime. Okay. Screw you, buddy. The scary bus door. Kachoop. Okay, do I want to run through them or? I think I should have just ran. Oh, that was close. That's one active zombie. Let's take this and try to like just. If anybody jumps me, I can just. Wow. Fuck you, buddy. No. Wow. They can really just throw themselves at you. Like I said, I probably haven't seen a woman in a while. Yeah, let's... Let's ignore these guys and go down. And I'm back to using the D-pad for some reason. I always default to that with this game, even though I can use a stick. I have no idea why. Yeah, you don't need that anymore, Claire. You're gonna need it for something much scarier than these zombies. 20 bullets left. That's not perfect, but this here's our first weedy. Well, the sound, even though a bit muffled, is really good. Can I look through the gate? Or is there... I know there's a way to take a peek through the gate. But I don't know. Maybe that's only when doing the... The bread key thing? I don't know. Let me try once more. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I know you can see it from another angle, like from the Resident Evil 3 angle even. RPD, here we are. So this is where most of the game will take place, which I'm sure you all, you all know if you played the game. Some of the most iconic RE music is right here. Alright, I feel safer already. I mean, overall I feel a lot safer than in Resident Evil 1. Even though my first experience was totally different, like my first playthrough of first attempt at Resident Evil 2. Okay, we have that there. I died on the first screen. I was playing it in a game room and they just asked me like, do you want to play as the guy or a woman? I said, yeah, woman, because I thought it's Jill and I played Resident Evil 3 and 1. And those were pretty easy because one also had the auto aim and I didn't know that you have to turn it on in this version in this in Resident Evil 2 so I just like blindly spent all my ammo and they 
they just destroyed me. It was really sad and traumatizing as well. That's that was the most traumatizing game over screen I've ever seen up to that point. Only beaten by Tomb Raider 2013. Let me look at you for a second first. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? So canonically, he doesn't Claire, even need Leon. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Ah, oh, he's in Chris, Cold Veronica. Oh, Jill I mean, Barry. No, not yet. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. Jill's still we there. We should have listened to them. Yeah, she's sleeping now. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. City. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Rescue them. Here, like this. take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... But... Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. So, Liam doesn't even meet him. I never... I haven't played Claire A B B scenario in a long time. And I'm glad I didn't, because... Uh, now it's gonna be like I said for the for the uh, for that version of Resident Evil 1 It's gonna be a lot fresher so to say it's gonna feel fresh Oh no wait let me check that first what was it? You can't really read on it but Okay What else is there? We have two EX files, and that's it so far. So use the computer. They're using Umbrella DOS. <laughs> oh, I have to press the button, okay. Key card or card key? No, it's the ID card. Like, make up your mind. Some of the sounds are different than on, in the PlayStation version. I think they're more like the PC version of the game. Run, Claire, run. Okay, first we want to go here. Another thing that's kind of jumbly for me now is that I've played a lot of Left 4 Dead, uh, Resident Evil 2 campaign lately. And now I expect to find Molotovs and pipe bombs in this room. Police Memorandum. August 23rd, 1998. This letter is just to inform everyone. No, I, that won't be his voice. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 4542, Raccoon Police Liaison Department. Liaison? Liaison Department. Ah, oh, the item boxes. Wait, nothing's in there? Really? Not even like some ammo? Yeah, this isn't easy. Or a range, so probably that's why. Okay then. Well, something scary is about to come up, and. Well, yeah, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna spoil this for everyone, for anyone, probably. I gotta fight the first liquor, but do I wanna go east first? I don't think so. The grenade launcher will be up, maybe? 
I'm not sure. I'll go. I'll go fight the liquor first. Let's get that off our backs. Oh, she should be the master of unlocking as well. Yeah. All right. It's kind of what's it called? It's not a bobby pin, but the other thing. Yes. Give me ammo. Give me ammo. Give me ammo. Oh, I'm not gonna use that in Resident Evil 2. Who's gonna pour them? Look at me. Look at how many FA sprays I haven't used. There are no hunters here who walk off with my head. Well, there are liquors, they can do the same thing, but still. I forgot if the, the grenade launcher is in the in the um eastern office where where we, where the password is that we just read or not. Oh there he is. Hello Licky. Lickety split. Yeah, 12 of these, that's like, what, 4 shots of this? They should get him. Easily. Well, not easily, but she shouldn't be able to just walk walk, walk away with my head, so... I just walk slowly. No, I don't have to, I don't have to walk slowly yet. Okay. Yeah, this has been changed in, in the remake into a scarier version. So I think he's gonna, is he gonna come from here? No? Seems to have been twisted off. And that's the liquor's tongue. All right. Yeah, we have auto aim, so we should be good. There it is. One of the most iconic <laughs> Resident Evil cutscenes. Look at that thing. It used to be human, by the way, unlike hunters. What was wrong with the sound? Yeah, I have more bolts than you have tongue. Come on, you can do it. Oh, no. Okay, I'm still fine, though. He's dead. Okay, yes. <laughs> that was that was way funnier than than just killing it with the crossbow. All right, liquor. That's one liquor down. Now I'm glad I brought bought the uh, bot. I uh, watched Robert die or the other brother for uh, for these for the crossbow. Let's stay away from the windows. They wanna grab me. Like I said, they haven't seen a woman in a long time. Ah, but the rooms are safe here, at least in the first playthrough. They're... You can just go inside and make it a little safe place. Let me try to play with a stick a bit. Operation Report. Operation Report, September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. With the outside. Well, there's no period there's no period there. Okay. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of our security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Hirons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to re relocate, relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered ammunitions. To unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. Oh, that's like a point, okay. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the car key of the card key, not key card, mind you, used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, he's in the board. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the uh, electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. 
it has become a top priority to restore power in the power room and <laughs> secure those locks. Recorder David Ford. Operation report, September 27th. What? You, what? Oh, it's all, it was, my birthday was just there. Oh. 1 p.m. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more were injured in the battle. Recorder, David Ford. Additional reports. Three additional people were, were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers, as well as their location, remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker, and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. I mean, why are you developing new bullets? The Operation Report 1 has been filed, so we know there are more of these. Wait, let me see if there's any turning sp speed difference. Yeah, not, not in that way, but when running it means a lot. Okay, got it. So try and stick to the stick. Anti-soda, cans and junk. Oh my god, what are you doing? Here we go. Looks like an operation map. Du -du -du. Come on, Claire, you can hit the door. Jill was better at this, she didn't have an analog stick. It's a fireplace, an oil painting hangs above it. Above it. The title is A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. Okay, should be something here, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, or is it only in the B scenario? Or only for Leon? Yeah, 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 sec no, don't. Don't examine the fireplace, find the ammo that I believe is somewhere there on the floor. I firmly believe there's ammo. No? I could be wrong though. Hmm, maybe here? No? Come on. Oh, there's no ammo. My memory is wrong. Maybe it was just for Leon or just for B scenario. Like I said, I played way too many times like Leon A, Claire B. Because I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna play the canon scenario last. Or like, to be more fresh. And then I always take too long and I'm like, let's play the Leon A, Claire B scenario again. Recent accident? There was a recent accident in Hall of the Town, Flair. Like, Jesus. Warning, warning. Okay, let's get out of here. There's nothing here, no ammo. We'll return here anyway when we have things to do. Hell to burn. Okay, I should be surrounded by a woman and at least one zombie. So I'll try to get the one behind me first, yeah. Oh yeah, I can use the trigger, that's lovely. Okay, now it's gonna be a lot easier. Die! You can use the Z button on the N64 so it feels more like you're shooting. Okay, they're dead. That was easy. And we're so far we're okay with ammo. Don't get up. If that's you, don't get up. Just one guy, okay. Oh, he's like, oh, I thought she likes me. Sounds like there are two of them. Yep. I'm fucked. Come on, shoot. All right. Screw those guys. Okay, they're dead. Phew. Losing ammo so quickly here. It's insane. Get some herbs! Everybody in Raccoon City is stoned off their asses. Bloop! Sometimes when you 
pull a stick to a certain direction, it feels like she starts going to the opposite side first. Ah, oh, that music. Okay, let's get the... Yeah! Lovely! Leave all the... <laughs> all the drugs we have. Maybe leave one here. Then we have knife comes out right here. Pistol ammo has one uh, crossbow or bow gun even. Wanna? I'll bring herbs. I got sliced by a uh, liquor twice. So, come on, Claire. It's right in front of your nose. Take it. Oh God. Operation report to the sequel. September twenty eighth. Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies so overran the operation room and another battle broke out. That's a recent accident she just commented on. We lost four more people, including David. The guy who wrote the, the original operation report, so this one's probably gonna suck. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. Dot, dot, dot. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. Sewer singular? There's a path leading from the pre precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers, plural, through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures had the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Whomever? Shouldn't be whomever? Well, maybe. Recorder, Elliot Edward. Thank you, Elliot. It is helpful. So what else is here? Beside the typewriter. So much easier to take the ink ribbon than to read the file. I guess that's gonna make it a lot easier to miss a file, a special kind of key. So had I done the whole thing without collecting anything, I would have gotten the special key uh, from Zombified Brad, the guy who left us hanging and dangling in Resident Evil 1. But there's nothing special about it. You, you get like two costumes, I think we one of them gets a different gun, it's not, it's not worth it. The film development... And I'm back to the D-pad for some reason. Come on. Wow. Open sesame! Oh, look at that! The items combined! Why didn't we think of that in the first Resident Evil? I will always remember this as the hallway where Nemesis jumped me in Resident Evil 3. Through that small window, see how he somehow flew in. Guess he can morph ball like Samus. Warning, warning, warning. Oh, look at that door. Yeah, we'll see that in a second. So, here's one dumb puzzle. No, I'm lying. The first time I, I did this, I was like, it doesn't work. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can re release the red soul. What I didn't get as a kid cause it was that he was serious about the whole gaze at me. Look at me, look at me. So, no, not there. Let's do the other one first. It's easier. The bronze one or whatever. The marble thingy. Thing of my bob. Okay. Push, Claire, push. My grandma pushes harder than that. Uh. I mean, it kind of is a good puzzle because who in their right mind would go to a police station like during, during you know, while they're open, open hours, whatever, and push the statues <laughs> on a floor hallway? Well, somebody who's played Resident Evil 2, obviously. Push, Claire, push. 
work that little lag of yours. They're always using the same lag, it's gonna get cramped there. Alright. I think this is the same statue we've been pushing in Resident Evil 1 the other day. I think it was last week. Kachum! Oh my god, they're looking at me! I dropped it from shock. From sheer shock. Here we go, it's a red jewel, but it's not just any red jewel, it's a blood red jewel about the size of a fist, which automatically means it's a virgin heart. Probably the name of a jewel, I, that's my guess though. Anyone? Is anyone here? Ah, oh, the sound effect. Do I want to go here? Let me try. Ah, no one. Okay, that's a sure way to tell if anyone's there. She'll turn, turn towards them. Oh yeah, a spade. Okay, let's go to the star's office. Like the the office of the most elite police team they have is unlocked. Let's research a bit. Nothing suspicious or out of the ordinary. Now there's a thing here that I am gonna do. Uh, if you check Wesker's desk 50 times, you get a secret film. I don't know whose idea that was, but it's there. So let's do that. That was one. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20% done. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, sixty percent, that's what I meant. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's eighty percent or forty. Two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. We take the film because she had to move a lot of papers to find this film. Can't tell what's on the film until I develop it. Well, that's how cameras used to work. So here we have a picture of the stars members. I love this picture so much. You can see actually they all look like. The characters from Resident Evil 1, Jill is in her vest, there's Joseph! And uh, one of those guys, probably the one holding a bazooka, is Forrest, oh my god! You can recognize Barry all the way on the, uh, the second on the upper right, and Chris right next to him. And I guess the guy with the sunglasses is Sexy Wesky. And the guy with the mustache, second uh, on the left, at the bottom is Enrico, and I don't know about the rest, but they're all there. It stars Alpha and Bravo teams. There isn't anything useful on this shelf. Appears to be a replica of a gun. But the owner is probably a member of the NRA. That's Barry. And Jill has already taken the ammo there in Resident Evil 3, so that's why we don't find any. There should be, oh, there it is, various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest winner, Chris Redfield. But the, the mansion incident, he spent sitting in a jail, at least in my story. Let's check the rest of this room. Ah, no freezes here. Unless, like, the cart just freezes. Yes, take the G launcher. It launches G. And you're not even try gonna try to use them. Okay. So there's this. No. Okay. No, not gonna comment on that. No. There are an open, an open cardboard box. It looks like a rookie's desk. That was Rebecca's desk. There should be some healing item in this, if I remember correctly. Come on. 
looks like Rook is because it's still attacked, so didn't have time to sell it. Yeah, I don't know how she dedu deduced that, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's just telling us that it's Rebecca's desk. Rebecca's desk! Oh, no health, no FA spray, just because she unlocked that thing. Did you check all the other desks? No ammo? Really? Oh my god! Oh, we got the film? What's this? EX file number 8, Jill's note. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. That and the lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer for to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness, if only they had the courage to fight. But it's true that once the wheels of justice began to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. We have some tense issues, but okay. It was Raccoon City's last chance, my last chance, my last escape. That's basically... It's basically the intro text to uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And the diary picture is just Dario Rosso's diary reused. I don't know who's... There's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. I don't know who's Jill's boyfriend. Probably haven't played too many of the side games. Is there anything else here? The desk is disorganized and untidy. Probably reflects the owner's personality. And that's Chris's desk. Chris's diary. August 8th. So that was like two a uh, month after the mansion incident. What vo voice do we want to give to Chris? Uh. <laughs> no, let's this was nice, Chris. So oh. I talked to the chief today once again, but he he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up, in the, went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Because you're such good policemen. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. Like, I just can't do Chris's voice. August 17th. We were receiving a lot of local reports, that sounds more like Barry, about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. And I'm pretty sure Barry went, like, as they were doing it, Barry was like, What is this? Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, a variation of the original T virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? You maniacs, you ruined it! Basically, for those of you who don't know, uh, T virus, the T is short for tyrant. And G is short for Golgotha, Gul Gul right? That's how you say it in English, I think. Golgotha virus, Golgotha virus. Whatever, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> we talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. <laughs> for baiting you into a zombie-fested city. He does owe an apology. Oh my god, it's a metal. Not meeting Leon here? Oh, that's only with Leon? Oh. So nothing here, no ammo, nothing. I'm running naked here. Naked snake. Naked Claire. Oh. I'm sure there's a... Like, what am I, am I even looking for? Oh yeah, I got the grenade launcher. What else do I want from life? <gasps> it's a fax machine. Shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> if someone's sending fax, shouldn't she be able to like pick up the phone and just be like, Help! Help me! Federal Police Department, internet. Yeah, see, that would have been useful just as soon as you see that fact. Like, there are zombies here. There's a, the city's infested. Come fucking help us. And the game would be over. Or maybe just a bit shorter. 
Internal Investigation re Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, STARS Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. 1. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc. So far, it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We are continuing with our investigation. 2. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved, involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. kind of feel there are missing tenses here <laughs> on a regular basis. Mr. Irons had been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate accounts during his year, years as a university student. And that guy became the chief of police. I mean, no wonder the city is fucked. He underwent psychiatric evaluation and as a result of the charges, as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. So you can be like the, the worst bastard on the planet if you have good grades, you pass. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Wow, that's one hell of a signature. Mail to Chris. Okay, let's go. Whee! The scary door unfolds. Nothing here. Okay, we have the metal, so we go solve the next puzzle, quote unquote. Whew. Warning, 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 warning. Ah, oh, that ominous music. Something gonna attack me? Something I forgot about? One, two, three. That's enough. We don't fuck around like in Resident Evil 1 and 3. Just need two steps and that's it. Three steps. Sorry, what am I saying? Three steps. So, can I see? No, that's the wrong button. Can I see? Yeah, it doesn't show you which doors. Uh, which keys go to those doors that are locked? Probably until you, not until you pick up the key. Well, we'll see. Ah, it's a wall. Oh my god, it's a wall. Maybe I want to walk slowly here. Because they might want to grab Walk to the wall. Ah! Oh, Jesus. I knew that was gonna happen, still it was scary. So just slowly clear. Use the D-pad, it'll never make you run. You don't wanna run. They might wanna scratch a little bit. Come! We haven't seen a woman ever since this started. We're all so horny. Let us touch you. No, I'm going to the next scary door. She's also the master of unlocking, by the way. She has a lockpick. See. It's true. Spade. A spade. We get his ammo? Let me try. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure. I was fighting a liquor, so. Took three crossbow bolts, by the way, Sasha, because you weren't here. And he wouldn't die. Then he started climbing the walls, and I was like, oh, fuck. And they just one pistol bullet and just yeah. fell down. It was kind of funny. Okay. The Endless Box. Okay. Ah, oh, I should have developed the film. I'm gonna go back. Fuck that. I was like, no, I have... No, actually, actually I'm gonna return there in a second, so... The, the film can wait. Let it wait. Let it wait, let it wait, let it wait. Another crossbow, then... Uh, ammo, then grenade, ammo, ammo. Then the zapper gun, whatever. Then we go with... These, yes. You go there, you go there. Grenade, I'm gonna keep it. And the herb for now. The herbal herb. So I can go up after I use this metal. I can go up, but I can also, it says, an old fountain, something is written here. To obtain the key to open your heart, 
I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. And the unicorn says, something is engraved on the back. Please guide me to the beautiful maiden who turned into stone as she waited for me. Well, you shouldn't have kept her waiting, you rude unicorn. <laughs> That's a silly puzzle, but I love it nonetheless. Oh, look, it's a key. What kind of key is it? Let's check. Is there anything interesting? There's something on the right, but I think I want to go up. I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. So we have the spade key. Let's bust those zombies on the right. I want to bust their ass. Or open the shortcut first. Um, kind of split between. Yeah, I want to. I don't want to. I want to be like not surrounded by them, so I'm gonna go here with the grenade launcher that actually explodes upon the in impact. And that says M79 grenade launcher. Various rounds can be used. The cut stock re causes a greater recoil. Made in the USA. US fucking gay. All right. Off we go! There's a whole army here, so I want to line them up, like blow up as many of them as possible. I'll try to stall this one guy with a bullet, and then go back! Back, I say! Okay, I have auto aim, so I'm like, safe! No, I can't see, fuck. Ah! Come, come closer. I should have used that to my advantage, but oh no, you guy, you you stay down there. Okay, he's down. You fuck you. He's also dead. And the rest of you. Okay, yeah, that's a good angle. That's a good angle for a grenade round. Just between them, slightly. Ooh, got all three of them. Uh, should I use the gun? I'm gonna try. Ah! Mmm. Very lunch. Still. If anyone's alive, they're not anymore. All right. Wait, I should check first. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning for you. Cause of you, actually, but okay. Let's check this room. There will be two, three zombies, but one of them I can totally avoid for the entirety of the game. Ah! Okay, yeah. This is why I want to have at least one grenade round here. Fuck you, buddy. Ah! Okay. You fall down. No use, sir. God, there's more of them? I feel like there's way more zombies than I remember. He's alive. He's just pretending. I can see it. I think he's dead now, Jim. Yep, there's just that one that's pretending to be dead. He ain't gonna fool me. So we have 13 of these. Is there someone in here? Oh yeah. Hello, baby. This is a good... Come on, man. I don't have all day. Oh, how many bullets do you need? He's alive. He's dead now. For real, this time. Oh, just 33 bullets. That's kind of bad. How much space do I have? Three. Okay. Should be enough. Should have left the key, because I don't need it in this side, but okay. At least I've cleaned this part. And there should be an EX file here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just not sure. Uh, it's been a long time since I played Claire A. Well, since I played this. 
as much as it's necessary to know it on the top of your head. But it's going pretty good. So, oh, there's one file. I'm not sure if it's an EX file, but can I take that? Uh, do I need to struggle to take the file for the next 30 minutes, or is she just gonna take it? Come on, there. Oh, there's a, there's a file here. Okay, I see it. So it's this one. EX file 07 out of 16. David's letter. David. David's the one who mm, who uh, recorded the first first operation report and later died. So let's see what he has to say. Okay. My sanity is at its end. Dot, dot, dot. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday. Mayor, one of our best, better marksmen. He saw me panic once, uh, we, once we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. I ran like the passé. I am. I can still hear him calling out my name. David, bro, I just want to chomp on you. I can still hear the screams coming from behind, the sound of his flesh being stripped from its bones. I was afraid, dot, 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 terrified, dot, dot, dot. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. But now I'm cutting through the cutting through the chill with whiskey, unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. We've lost thirteen men as of yesterday. In three hours we'll bicker over trivial trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. Dot, dot, dot. The David's letter has been filed. That's also a file from Resident Evil 3, actually. I just ignore that guy. I mean, if he's playing dumb, I can play dumb. Let's see. A lot of corpses have ammo on them, so it's good to check them. 15. Nobody wants to give me double ammo? Why is everyone so cheap? Wait, everybody died with one clip of... Or well, rather, one box of ammo in this case. Okay, what was the code? 42, 45? 45, 45, 42? One of those two. Was it this? 45, 42, okay. Forty-five. That's not a numeric keypad, but okay. It doesn't even sound like a numeric keypad. Acid rounds. Looks well, like probably the best weapon for Claire. A police station map. Will you take it? No, I'm gonna leave it there. Why wouldn't I take? It? Why did nobody else take it? That's the better question. So most of the first floor has already been explored, just like in Resident Evil 1. And, I mean, if you look closer, and people who have played this game, I'm sure they're aware of it, This the, the police station serves basically as like another Spencer Mansion. Police station, Spencer Mansion, it's all the same. And as you can see now, it's actually the... It's the map that tells me which keys unlock which door. So red are heart, purple are... Uh, diamond, I think. Green are club, and the blue ones are spade, which we have. So let's go pick up some secret ammo. Or like, I think it's even health. Yeah, health, health, health. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, let's drop these and go pick up the rest. I'm glad I went here first. Because, like, all of this has been cleared up. I like how the sound changes. You can hear the uh, the ceiling fan. It makes a different sound depending on where you are. I like that. I'm an auditory person, so sound is really important to me. Like, I could probably play this half-blind with good sound. Half-blind? Like, you know what I meant.
one quail over one. Just cut off the music. It's not worth it. Kachong. A lot more of these than I'm used to. I wonder what's, where's the next liquor and should I dick around? So it was like another one of these, it's ammo, then that, then one ammo, then second ammo, right? Yeah. And leave these, because there's a lot more there, where we came from. And also leave this for now. Leave it here, because we don't need it at the moment. Carrying the grain launcher just to be safe. I have a pistol, I do. And I have... Still not good with ammo, but that's gonna, that's gonna be, it's gonna be better in a... Very soon. Okay. Open the next scary door. Let's go all the way to the end first before we go outside. I'm not sure, maybe I shouldn't go here yet, but there's a red herb there that I want to pick up. Let's see, if there are zombies, I'll just retreat, because I also want some. September 28th, not shift, George Scott. I also want to survive the library, so nothing's wrong. Well, drink then. Have a drink, have a sandwich. Canned drinks and like packed food shouldn't be infected. You should eat, you should conserve your strength. Yeah, so far, I'm not sure if there's anything we need. Ah, let's just kill him. I'm here. Ah. You fall. I think there's gonna be... He's not bleeding out. He's dead. Jim. 29-13, that makes, like, what? 42? Yeah, that should be good. Now should I... Okay, they're here. Run, Claire, you silly goose. Mm. Mm. They're like, ah, oh, that itches. Die, dude. And he's still alive. How dare you? I shot you multiple times. There's even a woman? Okay, I'm gonna spend one of these grenade rounds. Because I have acid rounds and I can really... should be able to relax. Come, come, come. Oh. That guy's dead. Pretty much sure. Could spend the last one on the woman. That's probably here, yep. Come, lady. Ugh! That's 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 the sound I make when I get when I get hit in the head by a football or something like that. European football, not the American one. That that thing looks like it can really hurt you. Okay, she's dead. That's all of them. And that, I'll hold that for a red herb. So this is like a diamond door. But may be useful later and they're not gonna come back. So this is one of those games where I like to clear as many rooms as possible so I can walk freely. They're rolling the red and the green. And this is the club, yeah. This is the club, the club door. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Oh my, it's a metal scary door. It should be some ammo here. I'm pretty sure there was with Claire. If not, there's at least... What, a note? You got a note, Claire? Are you gonna take it? I'm just gonna look at it. Nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? Nothing? Oh, there we go. File 12. Journalist note. It's an EX file as well. As soon as it has that, like, pound sign in front of it, or hashtag for the younger generations. Hashtag file. As I write this, wait, journalist, let's give him the French accent. As I write this, my hands shake with both anger and fear. 
the civilians of the town have been blockaded by the military. And though I sigh for the survivors of the town, I still feel that it's the, the best decision. They cannot take the chance of the of this of the of the disease spread spreading any further. Uh -huh. I am going to make it my top priority to discover what has caused this incredibly dangerous incident. So far, I have only found out that the disease is not airborne. A hit. The journalist's note has been filed. Okay, so Dude, we have you can't that. Say that. Like, uh, I have nothing against the French. I like their accent. There's the bullets. Come on, Claire. Fifteen. I think I, I spent more, but yeah. A magic mirror. So basically, it's the interrogation room. And no, they said they were talking about the confiscation. Yeah. But basically, you can see what's on the other side. But on the other side, it's going to be a mirror. I, I'm pretty sure people have seen this in like CSI or something like that. And the thing is, there's nothing here now. But when you unlock the other room, a liquor is going to burst through the window. And, like, even if you know about it, it's liable to scare the living shit out of you, so. But, all in due time. So, we're done with the, uh, a little bit more, two more herbs. I'm stocking up for now, before the, there's real trouble on the horizon. I mean, can it get any worse in a zombie-infested city? Oh yes, it can. Leon's gonna see that. I wish I could just hold the button as I approach the door. That's that tiny bit uh, detail, like uh, quality of life improvement, makes it so much easier to run, for instance. And there's nothing on that blackboard. Okay. Is there something on the phones? Yeah, nothing to care about. <laughs> oh boy, it's the blue scary door. Hear that? It's one that will ignore the the floored guy again. He probably had too much to drink during Leon's party. <laughs> Welcome party. There are more green herbs here. I think I want to do the French accent because when you start up this game it offers English and French. That's another thing, it has two languages. I played Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation. One of my playthroughs in a game room was in German because, well, you can only fit one language on the PlayStation disc, but apparently these guys, Angel Studios, were able to fit both English, French, both scenarios all the cutscenes, though two are missing, and the uh, one ending music, the B scenario ending music, is also missing. That's 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 actually what hurts me the most of all the things that have been changed, because I like that rock tune. But it's like it's really it's really a small sacrifice for everything that's fit into one cart. That conveniently you can put like wherever. You might be able. It's harder to see in the stream I suppose but on the TV sometimes I can see when the resolution changes like I said in the beginning if you missed it uh, with the expansion pack on the N64 you have dynamic resolution so depending on like the scenery and how many polygons need to be drawn on the screen and all that it changes between several different resolutions I think three of them so it's trying to look its best whenever possible So we're done with the eastern side for now. Now we need to fight our way to the top. Oh yeah, we need to use the the spade key, was it? Yeah, spade. And Resident Evil 2, I learned a lot of English with uh, Resident Evil games and some of them, like I know, I remember, one of them is the uh, the card, what are they called? Symbols? I learned them with Resident Evil 2. Oh, let's carry this. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna, oh yeah, but I need the spade key. 
Spade key. Push I? Here we go. I don't know why I did this <laughs> very bad Sean Connery there, but apparently I'm in the mood to make to do voices. Yeah, the D-pad kind of when you want to go diagonally it fails, so I should stick to the stick. But I, for some reason, yeah, it's the items. Because of the items, I default to the D-pad because it's easier to just tap than pull the stick. Could use the spade key. I mean, you have used the spade key. Well, she has a deeper voice than that. Sasha should do Claire's voice. <laughs> you mean ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho? A copy machine. A copy machine. Is there a file? I'm sure there's a file here. I'm gonna find it. File hunters. There it is. Petrol report. Petrol. 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 Patrol report. September twentieth, nine thirty p.m. Reporter, Sergeant Neil Carlson. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic de detonator, 9 times 19 parabellum rounds, and an infrared scope broken. End of report. The patrol report, the patrol report has been... Why do I keep saying patrol? Patrol, like it's a patrol report. Oh, there we go, another secret file. EX file 01 out of 16. Jill's report, July 24th, 1998. Raccoon Forest, the following documents were obtained at a sanitarium owned by Umbrella Corp. I don't remember this one. This file, umbrella bioorganic weapon, bioorganic weapon publicity material, publicity material for a bioorganic weapon. That's just smart. So this is basically what this file is describing is a slide uh, or layer. Is it a slide? What you call it? like slides that you find in the last section in the laboratory of Resident Evil One. The one that we couldn't access because just at the entrance of the laboratory is where the disc would freeze. So what happens is um, they, they had these pictures of all the bioweapons and then would describe them. And that's how I learned the names of the things. So the weapon codes as follows. So basically there are Cerberus, the zombie dogs, hunters, the hunters, the guys who raped us just endlessly in Resident Evil 1 without the auto aim. Neptune, the sharks. Um, I think that that's like collectively all of the sharks. And the tyrant, T002, the first, the second model of the tyrant, I suppose. In addition to the above, is it, wait, this Jill. In addition to the above, it is believed that the several other BOWs were created by means of accidental infection. During the course of the tests, it was discovered that the contagion is not limited to human beings. Well, she had... I'm trying to do something between Resident Evil 1 and 3, Jill. And may pose a hazardous risk to plant and animal life forms. Effective means of controlling this contagion have yet to be found. Other than blowing up their heads and burning them alive. Raccoon City Police Department stars Alpha Team Jill Valentine. Valentine. Folks, let's take a five minute break here. I need to stretch my legs a bit. And then we'll be back with Resident Evil 2 Claire A Episode 1. See you soon. Welcome back everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. We're playing Resident Evil 2. Uh, on the N64, Claire A scenario, episode one. We're still in the, we're still in the uh, police station, and we're about to get the most iconic Resident Evil item. Probably. Push, 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 push. Climb. There it is. The crank. The crank. And it's going to be the square-shaped crank. I think that's, yeah, I'm sure, it's the only crank that's in this version. And there should be a file here, but maybe only with Joe, yeah. 
investigation reports, a pile of them, nothing interesting, nothing here. We found two files in this room, that's... Actually, I think we found at least half of the... Uh, yeah, we found one, two, three, four, five, six out of eight EX files already. So I think that's... I think it's eight in scenario A and another eight in scenario B. You can hear when she's stepping on the... So this is like the tiles and you can hear when she's stepping on paperwork, which is... I love that. I just love it. Okay, well, there's no ammo here apparently, so let's just maybe here. Nope. Just open the scary door and go to the dark room. Whee! So many scary doors. Not sure if all those horny men will try to grab me now, so I'll just walk slowly. Yeah, they are horny. Like they were trying to grab her. Like that was really, They're really. All moaning, you know, like... Yeah. Oh, oh man, it's like the scene from Euro Trip when the on the. Oh yeah. Okay, they're gone. Like the Euro tri Trip scene on the um, nudist beach with that. Old guy running glass going, Chica, Chica. Okay. So now, where's the dark room? Let's not forget that. Oh, what's here? Don't leave the dark room door open. I mean, I'm not gonna leave any doors open, trust me. Ah, oh, soothing, safe room music. A lot of things in my, for me, a lot of things between Resident Evil 1 and 2 are at odds with each other because both games are phenomenal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the key, <laughs> spend it, discard it after I use it, I have ammo. I'm gonna keep the grain launcher just because there might be a liquor I've forgotten about. Oh yeah, let's take the film first. We want to de develop the film. <laughs> Sexy Wesky's pervert film. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> there we have it. That's what he had. What the hell is that? And that's Rebecca Chambers, by the way, from Resident Evil 1 and the protagonist of Resident Evil 0. I don't know why he had this picture, <clears throat> what are we supposed to think about this, and <clears throat> it's kind of exaggerated by the fact that you have to search Sexy Wesky's desk 50 times to get it. Uh, she's holding the basketball, and is that the court? Is that on the court from the beginning of the game? Where does that file go? Okay, so, so they just uh, line up here, you, they don't, you can't see what's missing, like in Resident Evil 1. <clears throat> two more spaces, that, that'll be three and four after I use these two things, so... Okay. Three steps up, three steps down. In all, in, in reality, these like the animations were totally unnecessary here. They could be skippable, just like on the PC version. But Angel Studios, for some reason, opted to leave them in, which I don't mind because I would never interrupt them anyway. And I'm saying that just because it's a cartridge game, so loading times are almost instantaneous. A lot of N64 games even use the cart as RAM. Oh! Oh my god! Where did he come from? Help me! I will if you stop! Oh, he's so... Okay. 
I just shot the camera. Can you see that? <laughs> shot the camera three times. He's down, Jim. I mean, dead, Jim. Let's make sure we're stocked. We have one grenade. Small ventilation shaft. It's far too small for an adult to fit into. I mean, it's far too small for her to fit into <clears throat> as well. I mean, Sherry, but okay. Oh yeah, there's Leon. Hey, Leon. 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 Sorry, I didn't Claire, really open the door. You made there. it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. Who is she? But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. Thank you, Leon. We'll use it twice that way we can keep in touch all of the game and that's up. it. Hello, Leon. I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Okay, split duties. That's okay. This, like the original Resident Evil 2 is better. It's a great game still. And the remake did it justice. I can't stress that enough. But one thing that's definitely better is you feel the different paths in this game. Unlike in, uh, in the remake where it just feels like it's the same path for two characters. That's why we couldn't. That's the door that's next to the statues. That's why we couldn't open it. But something busts through the through the bottom. I don't know what. Probably a liquor. Maybe one of the G babies. The G baby. Yeah. Nothing on the rack. I love the lockpick. Flame rounds. Yeah. Okay, now we're equipped. We have acid and flame. We'll find more grenade rounds, I'm sure. She's well stocked. No zombies here yet? Okay. Well, let's solve this minor puzzle. Are there any... Is there... I think there's an EX file here. Another one. So that will leave maybe one more for the end. I'll check all the bookshelves. Company data file is primarily an umbrella. Because that's the only company in this town. Aside from Kendo's gun shop. Another red herb. This is getting better and better. I gotta say. So even if there's a liquor up there, I'll be able to... Take care of it, so to say. Wink, wink. Okay. Folded chairs. Where would the librarian be if it, the, the police station even has a librarian? Let's check all the shelves. I'm sure there's another file here. Like about 80% sure. Chemistry. Is it character chemistry? Oh, oh, oh. There it is. EX file 16 out of 16. Raccoon City pamphlet. I wonder if I miss any of the files. If you can find it in scenario B. I'm gonna Google that after the after streaming. Actually, it just crossed my mind. So this is a Raccoon City pamphlet. All these files seem to be from Resident Evil 3 so far. City guide number 12. Why? A brief look. Hello and welcome to Raccoon City. As you will notice, our city is a clean and private town dedicated to families. Families of zombies. Raccoon City has partnered with our friends at Umbrella Inc. in order to generate un unpre unprecedented growth and stability. Umbrella Inc. is a highly regarded and well-funded corporation that cares about its employees. They have helped to create many public facilities to make the city a safer place for everyone. 
until they fucked it up completely. As we look to the future, I will continue to support Umbrella Inc. in terms of new business developments. Please enjoy your stay in my lovely city. Thank you. Michael Warren, Raccoon City Mayor. I don't know why I gave him that voice, but okay. I'm trying to use different voices for all the characters. That is loud. It used to scare me like the first few times when I would be like, oh, what's here? Oh. So let's change this. A bronze plate with a picture on it. We just need to memorize the order. So it's like second, fifth, two, five, seven, ten. Okay, two, five. I'm just counting like the spaces between. Two, five, seven, ten. That's easy. They're kind of. Uh, symmetric and that one just falls into place with that I don't know how else you you get there over the shelves or break the floor anyway some of the things just don't make sense but we still love the game so I just push this one to the right and I think the next one yeah this one also and that's it. also as well I would say I hope not to get <laughs> in trouble. Come on, Claire. Come on, Claire, you're more agile than Jill. Serpent Stone. We got the Serpent Stone. And we ha we'll check it because why not? A six inch stone with a snake etched on the side. It's not a really good British accent, but the words like stone just make me want to say stone. Stone dead zombie. So let's go up first and use the crank. And I think there's a liquor up there, I'm not sure. But we have the grenade launcher and explosive. One explosive plus six flame rounds, so he can just eat the grenades. Yep, that's him right there. Just slowly walk up to him. Remember that you haven't saved, Claire? He's gonna come back on his feet, so to say. No, he died. That's the deal. She's still fine. Wow. Well, she takes a beating better than Jill. I can tell you that much. No, really. Like Jill with like two hunters, like two hunter slashes, he's all like, Ugh. But here it's easier to see how hurt your character is because there's a whole tool rack there. Just grab something. You can bash their heads, Claire. Oh, that would have been useful. Lots of cogs. You can see how hurt they are because they'll start to limp and stuff like that. It's a square hole. I wonder what goes in here. Oh, look. Oh. I haven't changed the battery in this rumble pack for almost two years now and somehow it's still working I don't know why people were so complaining so much about those batteries and I play N64 often like played it I think every like four out of six streams last week were N64 Okay. Yeah, this is where the cog will go. So you see here, this is one of the slowdown spots. I don't know why, probably because there's a lot of polygons to up so close to the screen. It's a it's a dodd. It's a dodd. All right. Thanks for the host team. I appreciate it. The iron plate seems to have been recently moved. That's one of the locations Chief Iron suggested to scatter one of the important things. Actually, would you even know about that? Oh, thanks for the follow, Nemesis Elite TV. Is that like uh, because of Resident Evil? Because it seems so. Here we go. It does say Nemesis Elite TV. <laughs> I thought maybe I'm just imagining things. One quail, one. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. 
I'm going to be doing this daily. And, well, you know what comes after Resident Evil 2. So we got the X file. I think we have like all the X files we can have in this. Thanks for the sparks, man. I appreciate it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven out of eight. I think I think you just get eight in one scenario, but don't hold me to that. Oh my God, zombies! Die, bastard! Die! Does he have a bulletproof vest? What? Oh. Jesus, I should have just shot a grenade at him. Are you serious? Is he still alive? No, he's not. Okay. Let's get the next guy. This is gonna cost a lot of bullets. I might have to use one of the... Don't run towards me! With your zombie shuffle run. Wow, why are they so strong? Okay, he's dead, at least. They yeah, really got a lot of my ammo. A lot of, yeah, that's what I get for trying to kill every single zombie. So the metal will be here on the second playthrough. We don't know how, but it will. Let's not question that, it's a perfect game. Now extend the ladder before the come, guy comes closer. He's kindly gonna wait for me to do that. There we go. Now don't change the camera angle there. Alright, one of them fell with like a few bullets and he's still alive. No, you aim to the guy that's closer to you. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. And we have only three bullets left. That's not good, but... In Make the best of it. I think there's gonna be some bullets down there. I'm tempted to use a grenade on him. Are you close? The sound tells me you're close. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste a grenade on a zombie. That's sacrilege. It sounds like there's another one. Or it's just maybe the surround sound is messing with me. Is that Jim? No more? Thank God. Really low on ammo. But yeah, I've cleaned up most of the police station so far. The next dangerous thing is uh, when the, the liquors start replacing all of the zombies. Well, not all of them. It's not like in Resident Evil 1, but it's still pretty fucked up. What's here? The lighter. Okay, we know where to use that. Thanks for the follow. Melicorn 1991. Ink ribbon. That wasn't in front of you at all, woman. But that was. Secretary's Diary A. Let's give Secretary a posh accent. Because she's appalled. April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. Dot, dot, dot. April 7th. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth thousands and thousands of pounds, I mean dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. Probably with the chief of police salary, but okay. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his eyes. This time, there was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. Not hung, hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Oh, she was simply appalled. Dot, dot, dot. So that was the first of Secretary's Diaries. She was apparently a British woman. 
and the bottomless pit opens with yet another item to pick up so let's put it right after the where the the other virgin heart would go and while we're at it wait, let me remember yeah i don't have the second floor map yet okay i'll substitute this red green herb for something weaker i think i'll even find some in the next hallway but okay now i could go i will go back and get the other uh, the other virgin heart by burning the appalling picture Lickers? Anyone? Is anyone there? I'm sorry to disturb you. Okay, no one. She's gotta be burning for me. I mean, the lady in the painting. I guess we never find the secretary because all of the zombie women you find are the same model with like chuckies and short shorts. So I'm sure she wasn't one of them. That would be really appalling for her. The double scary door. Running, running, running. Wow, it's so empty and lonely now. I'm gonna regret saying that. But it's really empty and lonely without any zombies being like, oh lady, let me touch you. I'm horny and hungry at the same time. I want to fulfill both my needs at once. Oh, that's a nice looking door. I swear, one, one, once I get like a place of my own, because I'm renting the place now with Sasha, we're gonna we're gonna have doors like in Resident Evil. It's just so I can slowly open them and be like, chuk, chuk. Chuk, chuk. yeah. A ventilation shaft, it's dark inside. I mean, it could be a good hiding spot, provided there are no liquors there. Shouldn't you put that sign like in front of the meeting room, not like on the other side? It's on the side. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah. I should go to the meeting room, <laughs> but I'm glad I, I, I read that because what, when you're exiting, you're reminding people to be quiet while the meeting was in progress or whatever, just bad placement, should be somewhere here because that's the meeting room. Maybe they wanted to use that ventilation shaft I just checked like they did in the remake. You can go from this room to that hole and that shaft should lead here-ish. I think. Let's check the map. Oh, actually, it leads. It's right below this whiteboard. So maybe there, there should have been like a place where you could crawl. Just my guess. I have no idea. It just occurred to me. Like I said, for Resident Evil 1, uh, when we were doing that, no matter how many time I, times I play these games, there's always something you like, the smallest of details. Burn, witch, burn! And poop out a virgin heart. Okay, that's the second virgin heart. We're ready to, I guess, revive some maidens. Alright, no grabby man here. We're safe. They just gave up when I didn't want to let them. When I didn't let them touch touch me the first time. They were like, "Oh, screw you! There are other women around. We'll go just grab them." Those shutters still scare me. I know they're gonna be important later, but yeah, this is not the side I'm actually gonna close. Actually, with Claire, yeah, this is not the side I'm gonna close with Claire. Definitely, maybe with Leon. I'm not sure. Huh. Oh yeah, Claire will. Yeah, she'll also use the other, the other um, hallway on the east that also has broken shutters. So yeah, we're going up, up, up and away to new adventures. 
So I'm being a little cocky like in the first Resident Evil, only more because I feel more confident about this one. Again, just because of the auto aim. But um, I haven't saved yet and I'm, I'm planning to save ending this session. So I'm gonna explore more of the East, um, check the chopper, do some things and then save here in the secretary's room. Or I think it was called the secretary's room, I'm not sure. Do I leave? Yeah, let's leave the Virgin Heart and Lighter for now. Lighter will be necessary only in one more place. It's not even necessary if you know that the item is there, the item you're looking for, or maybe not looking for. But um, it's nice touch. So that's how you find it. That's slow ammo, so let's just be a little smart. I think I'm gonna be surrounded by two guys now. Not sure. Again. <laughs> Let's find out. Just behind the scary door. Oh yeah. Okay. Should I... Let's not kill them yet. Kind of feel they'll... think they'll become liquors in, in the second playthrough. Maybe even... Like the... Hallway floor liquors. Oh yeah. Walk softly here. I think they're gonna attack. I think I can avoid. Let's get a good angle, just so I can see them. Okay, here goes nothing. That guy has ammo and I need it, and I'm just too scared to just pass through by them, I think. I'm not sure if they'll attack. Oh, such a waste of ammo. No, no, up, up. Yeah. Just the two of them? Not bad, not bad. This guy's gonna reimburse my ammo. Yeah, he's been back to death. Wow, okay. Got some ammo. Walk slowly, unlock the locked door. Yeah, there we go. Walk slowly, we don't know how many crows are waiting behind. They want just to drink the sweet, sweet juice from your eyes, Claire. Is there more ammo at this guy? Nope. Oh man, why is everybody just carrying like 15 rounds of ammo? Just the two crows? Kind of feel... Yeah, they're gonna burst in. Yeah, okay. Ah! Run, run, fuck the crows, fuck the crows. Okay, they're gonna be a lot calmer when I come back, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage. It's burning, it's burning, it's burning for me. Well, that's not entirely true, but excessive pressure may rupture the water tank. I mean, just like with any water tank. And how is exactly? Yeah, I'll ask that when we got, once I come back here with the uh, with the valve. But that's a mystery. How does that? I'm gonna have to run around a few zombies down there. So gotta be smart. And I just brought one uh, green herb, which wasn't really smart. So, uh... I ran past all of them. Oh, let's kill the lady at least. She should be easier to kill. Oh yeah, I have the grenade launcher. I'm not afraid of anything. You should be easier to kill. She's dead, okay. Let's try and run. <laughs> Maybe something's, someone's there, but... Okay, yeah, I can run past them. I'm faster! Okay, yeah. But they can throw themselves at me. Wow. The men are more are more eager. The, the the male zombies are more eager to jump at Claire. It seems. <sighs> Thirty bullets again. Okay, that's not horrific, but it's not terrific either. Why? Can you? What is that? Like let like a power room? I know that the the Leon came through here, like a gar garage on the other side. Do we have the room cleared? That, oh yeah, okay, we were smart with the room at least. Inventory space. I can save here, I don't know why I'd want to, but... All oh, right, okay, that's what I need. So I don't have to keep wasting the grenade launcher all the time. Shoop. 
There we go. Blub, blub. Yeah, I mean, that's literally the only description of that. Bow gun primarily used to hunt large game. So there's a little gag here. See, Leon passed through two here, and we'll see that in B scenario. And as he passed through, you could hear like the gates ripping open. Uh, the car that left them was just like, if I can point to like that direction, like to the right of Claire and straight, basically. And once I try to open these doors, which I'll do now because I'm crazy, there's a little kind of, it's not even Easter egg, it's a thing. It happens only here, as far as I'm aware, in all in the first three Resident Evil games. Oh my god, run, run, they're coming from the darkness, run, 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 run. Yeah, they're not really fast. You can outrun them anytime. So it would be best if I could run around all three of those zombies waiting for me here, but since I can't see well, I'm gonna turn at least one of them into fertilizer with a bow gun. Fuck you, buddy. No, oh, I said fuck you, buddy. Oh, I have to spend nine. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. Better bow gun than the grenade launcher. That's all I say. My grandpappy used to say always it's better to use the bow gun instead of the grenade launcher, and I stick to his advice. My grandpappy used to kill a lot of zombies in his day. All right, we're here. Bum -ba -lum -ba -lum -ba shiny bow gun. Bum -ba -lum -ba -lum. Gonna pierce them all. Let's clip the gun and rupture that tank. It gets easier. Now, how, how exactly this works, I have no idea. She's moving it, she's turning it so that it's actually. It seems like she's. Uh, fastening it, like closing the valve, yet, I don't know, maybe it's like, it stops the water from flowing out, and then that makes it rupture, it's not never explained, but it's me nitpicking a game that I love very much, so all's forgiven. If I have to, I'll prove that that's how tanks work in real life. Okay, at least the pilot had something. So now that we've done that, oh, let's deal with the fucking crows, oh god. I think it's better to kill them all than leave them, I'm not sure if they'll wait for me. One dead. Come on. <laughs> the sound is really good, the, the surround sound. Come on. Are you stuck? Yeah, they're stuck. Okay, one dead. Another dead. Okay, the wasted ammo is down to minimum. Come on. There. Are you there, Crow? It's me. Ah, it's me, Claire! Okay. Ha, <laughs> that was so close. Whew! Walking over dead crows. I see you! Okay, you're not there. Walking over dead crows and broken glass. There might be a few more there. That's okay, none of them packed me at least. No more dead crows. Alright. I mean, live crows. I kind of feel like I missed the health there, but I haven't seen it, so I'm gonna go with. No, I haven't missed anything. So now that the fire is gone. Oh, they're also gone. Okay, now I'm happy that I didn't kill them. Are they completely gone? Hello, zombie. It's me, Claire. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, okay. Good boys. That's cool. That's cool to know. Okay, secretary's room. Open sesame. So we'll leave the valve handle, we won't need it for a while. It goes in among the like among these items. OCD that shit. 
And I'm gonna bring, oh, I don't know where the liquors are gonna be, but I don't have to worry about that yet. Okay, two virgin hearts. Mm -mm. Should be okay. I love that music, it's so, so good. Any ammo here? Oh, Jesus, woman. People are trying to search wrecked helicopters here. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> we'll take out the wall later. So is there anything here? No? Not, no second ammo? They'll be expecting too much. Aha! Uh -huh. Hidden in Caribbean. I have you now. Oh jeez, I know liquor drops through that ceiling, but I think it's in scenario two. I'm pretty sure it's in scenario two. All of these memories are kind of jumbled because I played more, more uh, Claire B. So I expect those things to happen with her. Well, I have the bow gun. If all else fails, I have the bow gun. All right, diamond key. I kind of wish I want to unlock that too right away. The liquor is going to be down there. Yeah. No, wrong button. So, yeah, there's a diamond door there. Oh, yeah, it's showing up been there because it's got two sides. I've uh, been in the, on the other side of the magic mirror, if you remember. Let's check this. An armored stone statue. The stand reads Tyranos, Tyranos? Tyranos the Bray revives with two lights. Like you mean with two virgin hearts? Click, click. I got her, her heart back. A woman relief. There's a hole about the size of a fist. Well, I just happen to have a thing that's the size of a fist. Wink, wink. I hereby open my chest and give the key of... Whatever. Oh yeah, the eagle. The blue stone. We got the blue stone. And... Half of an animal. It's the... Jaguar one? I'm not sure. Let's run. If there's a liquor here, we'll try to just fucking run from it. Yeah, it's not gonna fall. Okay. Okay, let's search for some ammo there. There might be something I missed, though. I found quite a few items in this room and it's expecting too much, but why not? It's peaceful, quiet, beautiful. The camera isn't ominous at all. Oh, look, it's the grandfather clock from Resident Evil 1. Or is it? No, it's not. It's just a smaller clock. Check the clock. I can't even approach it, it seems. Okay. We're done with that room. <clears throat> Let's see what's behind scary door number five. Just gonna peek through the... I'm just gonna peek through the... Uh hallway door just to make sure liquors aren't there. Well, even if they are, I'm not gonna kill them now. Kind of feel that they, they spawn after you get a certain item, but... Nope. Okay, not yet at least. Maybe when I return from the underground. I know there should be at least one, if not two of them, on the second floor hallway thingy. That's 14 ink ribbons already. That goes there, I got the crossbow, I'm gonna need... Just so I don't forget for next time, I'm gonna put the gray launcher there as well. Because I'm gonna use it on that liquor. That's the smart thing to do. And let's take the ink ribbon. 
And let's save here. I've been playing for two hours. Wow, that's doubled my usual streaming time. But you can expect that with Resident Evil games because I really love them. Yes, let's use an encryption. So, let's overwrite this save. Claire A, Liam B, yeah, that's how we're gonna go. Go! So it has red and blue, red and blue, uh, their names are in red and blue because uh, that means it's normal, it's not easy. On easy everything would be white text, no colors. Now Claire gets red, Liam gets blue. And that's it for now, that's it for today. Join me tomorrow, same channel, same time. You can find me on uh, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, also YouTube. It's all Hippie Tesla, you can't miss it. Except on Instagram when there's an underscore between Hippie and Tesla. Uh, we're continuing Resident Evil 2 Claire A scenario with episode 2 tomorrow. We're going to be doing this daily till we finish Resident Evil 2. And then, like I said, you know what comes next. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, stay safe.